The Mockingjay cast and other weird, wacky, and fabulous fashion from Comic-Con. A $77,000 dress and a $330,000 car? Nikki Hilton's lavish royal wedding by the numbers. Concert or runway? Taylor Swift steps up her style game and brings out supermodels on her 1989 world tour. And we spy Violet. From runway to real way, why we're crazy about the shade. It's all ahead on We Spy Style. Hi everyone, I'm Allison McNamara and welcome to this week's We Spy Style. I'm here with my partner in crime, pop show editor Ryan Roschke. Hello. Yes, along with celebrity stylist <laughs> Anita Patrickson. You've been here like 5,000 times. I have. Welcome back. I mean, it's part of the welcome. furniture. Yes. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and we also have jewelry designer of the brand Love AJ, Amanda Thomas. Hello. Yay. You've also been here before. It's yes. like all repeat offenders. <laughs> so Anita, first off, you just did Chrissy Teigen's cookbook, right? I did. So tell We're us a little bit about that. Through. We've got another second half to do, but it's going very well. I have to say, I think I've probably gained about 10 pounds in Can't the last tell. two days, mm -hmm. but um, no, it's gonna be amazing. I'm actually really excited, genuinely. And Amanda, what do you have going on right now? Any cool collaborations? Yes, I just did a collection for Gwyneth Paltrow's lifestyle site called Goop. Oh my gosh, so yeah. what did you design for them? I just did a small capsule range of these ombre inspired rings and necklaces and chain bracelets and stuff. It turned out really cool. And it's awesome. available now? Yes, online now at mm. goop.com. Very cool. Gwyneth Paltrow approved. Yes. You'll probably get a certificate. So now every year the A-list crowd flocks down to San Diego for Comic-Con, and this year there are so many looks we have to talk about. Take a look. Jennifer Lawrence, Emma Roberts, Kate Mara. Celebrities went all out in the fashion department at Comic-Con. Crop tops were everywhere. We spied them on Jessica Alba, Kat Graham, Cara Delevingne, Catherine McPhee, Holland Roden, and Leah Michelle twice. Cutouts were also popular. Take a look at Jennifer Lawrence in this chic black Louis Vuitton number, Ashley Medeque in a gingham jumpsuit, Kate Mara's olive green dress, Abigail Breslin in red, and Sarah Paulson. We saw a few high neck dresses on Emma Roberts, Parker Posey, and Ashley Benson. And let's not forget all those crazy patterns worn by Willow Shields, Jessica Chastain, Sophie Turner, and Natalie Dormer. So it wouldn't be, though, a Hollywood event without a little You've Been Flagged action. <laughs> so grab your flags, you've got them. So it's a green flag if you like the look, red flag if you don't. First up, Willow Shields in this kind of like baby dress boat. What? I mean, I love the top. <laughs> I don't like the bottom. I if I could cut the skirt off, because I love that ziggy zaggy, yeah. and I love the like off the shoulder, but the ba I thought they were gingerbread men. And then I now see their babies. But yeah. it's also just like, do you need the print? Like, there's so much going on with the Agreed. dress already. Yeah. It's like, what? you slap some babies on it, too, while you're Just check it. a little baby on there. Why not? Agree. All right, next up, Emma Roberts wearing this lilac slip dress. Red or green flag? I'm in a green flag. I'm going to... Why am I... You're really keeping us waiting. It's like... I'm really, really putting a lot of thought kind of into this. Out, like a gun do you know shot. what it is? Love the dress, not appropriate for the event. Interesting. Oh, okay. I also like that it's plum. I do you know, too. I, f I feel like the, like someone would wear that in black or some mm -hmm. sort of neutral, no, yeah. but I think it's cool that it's a different color. I really, really like it. I mean, I don't like her hair color, but I've been talking about that all day. So <laughs> yeah, I like true. the dress in general. The last one we're going to talk about is Leah Michelle in this red suit. Red hot. Voot. I'm gonna go 50-50 oh on this Me too, one. I was just gonna do that. A little on the fence there. Oh, I'm, I'm Why? Start, yeah. Looks like Why? we're split. Wow. I just think, I, I, like I it. think it's a lot in red. I don't like with, the shoes. With the shoe and the plunge and the shorts, I think it's a lot in red. I think it's super fashion-y, so I'm down. Because I think the shoes are unexpected. It makes it a little bit cooler. The obvious thing would have been to do like a nudist, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. So for me, that feels fashion-y. I could see that in an editorial, and I kind of love that she went, Comic-Con's kind of sexy and a little more edgy. I don't know, there's something about like the open toe, the two straps, the satin, I don't know, I don't like it. But you can put the flags yeah. down. I guess we're not in agreement on that. We one. are not. <laughs> Throw, Throw them away. <laughs> so another big event that happened last weekend, that was Nikki Hilton's wedding. She is a Hilton, so we we knew her wedding would be over the top, but some of these things you have to see to believe. Check it out. When you're a Hilton, the sky's the limit, at least in terms of a wedding day budget. Let's start with $77,000. Yeah, that's how much Nikki Hilton's wedding dress cost. The long sleeve, high neck, princess style ball gown is a custom Valentino haute couture and is covered in delicate lace. And for the veil, she went long, 10 feet long to be exact, with ornate embroidery. However, her veil did get run over after the wedding by a $330,000 Bentley. 
$35,000, the price it cost to rent the weekend at the Orangery at the Kensington Palace, the place where Nikki and her banking heir husband, James Rothschild, said, I do. And yes, that is Kate Middleton and Prince William's home. The venue holds 300 guests and was built in 1704 for Queen Anne's orange trees. 28,000, the total dollar amount on their wedding registry, including $5,000 worth of John Darian lamps, $700 in books, and a $300 toaster. 2011, the year Nikki and James began dating after meeting at a wedding in Italy. 7, the number of bridesmaids by Nikki's side, including her maid of honor and older sister, Paris Hilton. Dennis Basso designed the custom pale blue dresses worn by Paris and all of the bridesmaids. 2. The number of dresses Nikki had for her big day, she changed out of her gown and into a sparkly mini for the reception. And 1. Happy couple! Congrats to Nikki and James! So first, let's talk about just the wedding in general. Do we like it? Do we like the dress? What do we think? I think the dress was beautiful. Yes, yeah, so for yeah. seventy-seven thousand dollars. Yeah, it better yeah. be. Yeah, and you know <laughs> the best part about the dress is that there was no butt window. We didn't get any underwear. Uh, yeah, she had that snap <laughs> so through last glad week. For that. <laughs> yeah, you no, know, that was amazing. And the veil was mega. Uh, yeah, I love, I love a good veil because yeah. I feel like when else are you going to do it? Yeah. And it's so romantic. The pale blue dresses were a little tough. A little I think. Cinderella. A little cheesy. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. think it's interesting if you're going for this couture Valentino timeless gown. Why mm -hmm. are you putting the bridesmaids in? Baby blue cheesy with the sparklies. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm like all about going the Solange route, you know, like yeah. ultra yeah. crisp and yeah. clean. Well, I love them. I love Nikki, so I'm happy that she's happy. Right? She looks yeah. gorgeous. She looks gorgeous. All right, switching from the aisle to the stage, Taylor Swift has been busy on her 1989 world tour and has looked pretty stylish every step of the way. Take a look. Around the world with Taylor Swift. It's a who's who of Hollywood during Taylor Swift's 1989 tour. Most recently, Taylor rocked out with Lord in a matching white set with black thigh high boots, and before that, New Jersey got some major supermodel action. On the first night, Gigi Hadid and Lily Aldridge took the stage alongside a leather-clad Taylor Swift, Lena Dunham, and Haley Steinfeld. Taylor also sparkled in short shorts when some new pals took the stage the next night, including Candace Swanepoel, Carly Kloss, Body Prince Lou, Uzo Aduba, and Lily and Gigi again. Wait, is this a Victoria's Secret ad or a Taylor Swift concert? In Amsterdam, Taylor pulled out some ombre purple and blue sequins along with a matching purple skirt and rocked the stage in a sexy black two-piece in Cologne, Germany. In Dublin, Ireland, she rocked a metallic bomber jacket and skirt solo, but it was in London where she was joined by tons of friends. Kendall Jenner, Martha Hunt, Serena Williams, Cara Delevingne, Carly, and Gigi stood by her side at Hyde Park. Selena Gomez, Calvin Harris, Ed Sheeran? We can't wait to see who shows up on Taylor's stage next. Who would you want to see get up on Taylor Swift's stage? Okay, wait, are you ready for this? Yes. This would either make everything explode or deflate, but like, what if Katy Perry went on <gasps> and like, it for was bad like, blood. yeah, ah! can you imagine? Like, it's supposed to be breaking everyone up. would yeah. either, like, they could either like, like, kind of disband everything or they could just like heat up this feud even more. That's I what love I that idea. Yeah. yeah. I was gonna say Calvin Harris, just because oh like, he could yeah. like remix something cool and like, great. kind of make her like, a cool artist yeah, in a way. Yeah, and he has like such a good summer vibe to his yeah. DJ yeah. style. Like, I would, would love fun. to see him yeah. on there. Okay, there's a new color that is taking over this season. We spy Violet. Yes, that's right. We've seen a lot of Violet on the runways and on our favorite celebrities. Take a quick look. Fashion is having a Violet moment. Don't believe us? Let's look at the runways. Burberry Porsum, Balenciaga, Alberta Ferretti, D Squared, Roberto Cavalli, and Missoni all delivered fresh takes on Lilac for spring-summer 2015. And we saw even more during Gucci Cruise 2016 and at Paris Haute Couture Fall 2015. We're still dreaming about Carly Kloss's Lilac Versace gown. Now we're seeing real girls try out the trend. Emma Roberts chose a purple slip dress at Comic-Con, Petra Nemkova wore a light purple dress to the Zuer Mirage show, and Taylor Swift wore a sweet lilac dress in New York City. I'm a little scared of Violet, just for okay. my own personal wardrobe. I'm kind of with you. I've had a personal vendetta against purple my whole life. I also have a hard time with a violet piece mixed with something else. I'm cool with the dress. I'm cool with the, yeah. with a one mm -hmm. a one hole piece, mm -hmm. but a, li a, a violet skirt, I wouldn't know what to pair with, yeah. or a violet sweater. The way yeah. you accessorize and the way you do your head, for God's sake, don't do something pretty and sweet with a lavender dress. I mean, edge it up a little. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, that's a wrap on this week's We Spy Style. Thanks, Anita and Amanda, for joining us. And their Instagrams are below, so check them out. And let us know what you guys think on the violet trend. 
Comic-Con fashion, those babies, Taylor Swift's onstage besties, <laughs> and all that other stuff in the comments below. Talk to us, and don't forget to subscribe to Pop Sugar Fashion's YouTube channel and thumbs up this video. Bye. Bye. See ya.